Well, what's up, guys? Jacob Paul, aka the J Gamer 12, and welcome back to the WWE 2K20 Universal Championship Tournament. Now, here's a little breaking news, guys, about my like upload schedule. How do you guys feel? Like, I know I think about this for the only this summer. For only summer, I'm gonna be opening five videos a week, Monday through Friday, and not including weekends. So, unless it's a pay per view or something. So, lay down that bounty on this very fine and very hot Wednesday here. So, of course, we got NXT and AEW on tonight. So, of course, let's finish up this tournament. I don't the finals. I think the finals gonna be on Friday. So we got this for our semifinals matchup, which I did not expect. Randy Orton taking on Keith Lee, who pulled off a major upset on Johnny Gargano, breaking his four-match losing streak. And of the and their main event is Drew McIntyre versus the Fiend Bray Wyatt. I think my prediction, I don't know, like for Randy Orton and Keith Lee in the semifinals. Honestly, it could go either way. Will Randy Orton be able to bask in his in Keith Lee's glory? Or will Keith Lee be able to taste the three? The dangerous letters in the English language, the R K O. So let's get hop right into this, guys. <laughs> Episode sponsored by Coke. Hashtag could be a sponsor. Hashtag. I don't know. Hashtag not a sponsor. Hashtag could be. Hashtag Coke, please sponsor me. The Viper is in the building. One and O oh for Randy Orton. Beating Tommaso Champa. in his glory. And his opponent from Wichita Falls, Texas, weighing in at 320 pounds, limitless, Keith Lee. I have a question. How come you two are so gung-ho about basking in Keith Lee's glory? 
I can think of plenty of other superstars you would call cocky or self-absorbed or fool themselves for saying the same exact thing. Corey, when you're a superstar who is both as large and as athletic as Keith, you can't help but expect others to bask in your glory. Keith Lee was part of our original eight. We competed in our very first ever Nick tournament. Man, quick feet and agility of the former collegiate defensive lineman that he is. Hold on, he's a guy, he's a guy. Guess what? If Keith Lee beats Orton, I will laugh so hard. Because here's the thing. Awesome. RKO chanting around this arena. We're hopping right into this, guys. Oh, oh, oh! Already, Keith Lee <laughs> with a hip toss. Multiple championships by playing nice. Oh, big swipe, big tack to the head. He calls himself limitless, and it's actually kind of scary to think about a 300 plus pounder being limitless. Well, he's a super heavy already like keenly coming out of the gate fire. but Randy Orton with a loose death press oh. on the limitless one gotta be careful not to oh get out here. and now that one's counter headbutt to Randy Orton okay still people are like I think a lot of people were thinking that Randy Orton will win this match, I, that's what I'm thinking. But I did not expect this relentlessly coming out of Keith Lee. And be careful not to get kind of an elbow shot. An uppercut, and why was he? Okay, right to the gut. Twisted neck breaker. Kind of ate in an elbow. Oh, kind of nine, but Randy Orton rolling it back into the outside to restart the ref's count. You know, Keith Lee calls himself limitless. What exactly does that mean, Byron? Well, that means his size doesn't dictate uh, oh. what he can do in the ring. He dictates what he can do. Randy in Orton, and there may be I am shoving Keith Lee into the corner. Turning him to front, getting him on top oh, of the top guys. turnbuckle, and now Orton. Oh! Oh, Avalanche arm drag from the Viper. There he goes. And out to the outside again. <laughs> DDT. DDT round to the outside from Keith Lee. Keith Lee. What is Keith Lee doing? <laughs> Like Wait, Lee. is he just trying to like, like I don't even know what he's doing anymore. I mean, I Guys, I literally have no idea. My glory nonsense, but Keith Lee They're fighting in the crowd. Nonsense. They're fighting in the crowd. This might be big. Oh, Uppercut. He's in big trouble. Oh, the back of the net. Kind of six. Seven. Count of seven. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Yeah, the yeah, to make sure they're in the ring. Keith Lee. Getting in at kind of six. And oh, oh. And snap power slam planted by Randy Orton. Now Orton already out of the gate. Trying to slow down the red Trying to slow down trying to slow down the big man for for a while so he can hit so he can possibly hit the RKO. Oh, Keith Lee coming back in now. Wait, oh, he got clapped, clapped to the head. Michael mentioned Randy Orton as the face of the WWE. Given his long history aligning with Triple H. Oh, elbow to the head. Oh, elbow, oh, and already, this is vintage Orton at his finest. This could be it. In the cover. One, two. two. Keith Lee X out. But on. Oh, you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. 
Hey, Orin is thinking for the right time to use it. He's not He's not wasting it. We don't think. Oh, but I was going to go for the RKO there. Lifting up Keith Lee. The strength of Orton. And a neck breaker planted by the Viper. And, oh, Irish whip to the apron. Now Keith Lee. Oh, already. And already. Oh, Irish whip to the turn. Irish whip to the corner. Big boot from Orton. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Keith Lee. Tossing Orton like he was nothing. Headbutt again. Oh my God. Is Keith Lee going to be able to do it? To the cover. To go, go to the finals. Hey, Orton with a count of one. I mean, I mean, I'm not acting like that's not surprising, but. Now Keith Lee. What's he planning about doing? Irish whip to the outside. Getting a little bit of breather before. Trying to get a little breather. But Orton has been in control of this match by Keith Lee. He's trying to take it back. Irish whip to the back. Irish whip back into the ring. And, oh. Oh, oh. Elbow. Elbow to the twisted arm and a kick right to the gut from Keith Lee. Now was oh wait oh reverse whatever he was about to do to the corner rolling elbow to the head toss of overhead toss from Keith Lee. Oh, Lee needs to be careful. Lee needs to be careful. Oh, to the head. Oh, I knew that was coming. And, oh, already bringing Lee to the corner. Oh, vintage Orton. Planted Key Lee. With the rope hanging DDT. And a, and a cover. One, two, three. Randy Orton moves on. Moves like this are why the Apex Predator continues to be dominant. Keith Lee was that close. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna admit, Keith Lee was this close. Surprise, no RKO. But Lee tried to warm out just to, like, war, like, I'm surprised Lee almost beat the Viper, I would say. That's a little bit of neutral respect. At least Orton advancing with 2-0. and oh, And Keith Lee at 2-6. and six. Here is your winner, the Viper, Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Randy Orton's legend continues with a big win here tonight. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match. They tell me things that I will do. They show me things that do you talk to me. So, wow, okay. That's very impressive from Keith Lee, I will say. Almost putting away the Viper. That's very surprising. And is our next is our main event. The, the Claymore. Excuse me. The Claymore versus the Fiend. Will McIntyre be able to put away the unstoppable theme, fiend? Or will the fiend make us say, yowie, wowie? I, I, I'm trying my best here, guys, with these jokes, okay? I'm trying. We'll see. <laughs> We're gonna figure out. Because we already got the Viper in the finals. 
my prediction, it could go either way. But because we got McIntyre, who is uh, champion, it could be. This could be another thing. Like, he's not a universal champion, but I know Drew McIntyre is champion at Raw. This could be the same thing. I don't know. He's a daily champion, but it's the same thing. But. Mm. Hey, this is gonna be a tough challenge. Like my thing, it could my prediction, it could go either way. I don't know. Let me. In. This has got to be one of the most frightening moments that we've ever experienced here. What exactly is that? It's this a dude. Stunned. I feel stunned. This uncomfortable feeling has just taken over the entire WWE Universe. Making his presence felt. The Fiend, a fan favorite to enter this existence. tournament. We got very menacing, sadistic, insane. Ray is gonna kill you. Ex egging around the arena right now. Oh, McIntyre. Countered. Kick today to the back. Almost barely even, like, it's hard to tell, like, is he half man, half 
demon or is he like uh, like here's the thing like what the feature we have no idea what the heck he is <laughs> we all know that he's the best gimmick ever and why did they waste it down the toilet so i don't know I don't know. He's the, it's WWE, so it's not something new. Bray. The strength of the feed lifting McIntyre. The feed. Everybody getting on the feed side. Oh, already. Wait, what? Don't. <laughs> oh my god, stop. Okay, this is funny. Oh, do not exit the ring again. <laughs> Oh, look at the strength of McIntyre. Inverted, Inverted suplex planted the fiend where he stands. And now McIntyre with a clothesline planting the fiend, but I don't know how much damage that would do to this man. Putting the fiend putting away the AEW outsider, Matt Hardy. And McIntyre putting away Bobby Lashley. So, oh, already. Honestly, I think if you shot Drew McIntyre back in time to the Scottish battlefield, they just disappeared in the fray. Oh, I'm trying to go back. Already, just trying to dismantle the Fiend, but the Fiend coming back. Wait, and snap suplex planted. McIntyre. McIntyre looked a little dazed there for a second. But, uh, big forearm to the back of the Fiend, but I don't know. I don't know how much that would do against this man. Now, this is kind of like a little bit more of the tougher challenges that McIntyre will face. And, you get? You get? <laughs> he almost got stuck on the turnbuckle. <laughs> oh, thanks, DK. <laughs> Okay. Already. Oh, Irish whip to the announce to the and the ring announcer section. Count of seven. This is all the McIntyre literally gonna win this. He's no. Northern Lights. Count of nine. Oh, for a second. For a second, I thought we'd count out. Otherwise, we're gonna riot. Is the fiend my fave pick to win? I do not know. But the fiend to McIntyre's health bar, as you guys can see on the bottom left and the bottom right of the screen, it I, it's hard to tell like how much left is in the fiend. But the fiend coming back. Kind of made the fiend angry. You do not want to make the fiend angry, and I do not want to know what he did on that stair. Ah, uh, that's not the appropriate stair collision animation. I think I do not know, but hey, what do I know? I got 2K. Scoop slam planted. Headbutt. Count of nine. Oh my god. I think a lot. I think the fan favorite in this tournament is the Fiend because I think I kind of. I think I. I think I see it somewhere, but I think I like the fan response. If this match ends in the. This is like the longest count out time I ever heard. Okay. Count of seven. You know, this is just one of those matches you want to sit back, relax, and just oh. take it in. Yikes. It's those moments that you would say, I'm glad I'm I'm out there rather than in there. Wait. Ooh. To the to the floor. That could be it for Mr. Yowie Wowie himself. I do not want that, but 
Uh, oh god. The fiend needs to figure out. Or the fiend is coming back in this match. Seven. Wait. wait where are you going? Fiend. Fiend. Why? Why? What? What the heck just happened? What the? Wait. What the heck just happened? What the heck just happened? The fiend literally tried to walk off. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. That's an impressive victory, guys. Bray Wyatt's gonna have to follow the buzzards back home with a lot. McIntyre in the finals. I'm already like questioning what that finish was. Hope you guys stay tuned on Friday for the finals. <laughs> I don't even know. I honestly have no idea anymore. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on those bells, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.